Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So as we discussed in our previous video, the Cloud Run provide a two ways to deploy the container. One we can deploy as a service for continue execution, and then we can deploy it as a job. So perform the specific task. So once task is completed, it will just terminate the instance. So in last video, we deployed simple Python web application on Cloud Run using the container. So we deployed our own container image and also we deploy it using the source code so now in this video we are going to deploy our first job on a cloud run so if you want to schedule any kind of scripts in google cloud we do not have multiple option but with this option we can schedule any kind of shell script or python script in a google cloud using a cloud run job okay so let's see what we are going to do in this video so first we have a Python script which extracts some data and load that data into GCS bucket in a form of a JSON file. Okay, so currently this task is being done manually and we have task to automate this task with kind of the scheduling or kind of job. So then we'll use Cloud Run. Okay, so then we'll do build a container image for this source code. Okay, then we'll push that container image to artifact registry and then we'll deploy that container image on cloud run but not as a service but as a job okay so we'll see all this step in this demo and after that we'll test our job if it is working completely fine or not and also we'll have another step so where we'll have a second demo and instead of building docker image manually we'll just deploy directly from the source code so we'll just execute some command and it will automatically create repository it will automatically build a docker image and it will automatically deploy as a job okay so we'll see that as well how we can do that how we can automate that and the second step we want to schedule this task schedule this job on a particular frequency suppose i want this data extraction to be happen every one hour so we'll see how we can do that okay so let's jump into the demo now and i'll go to cloud run and we'll show you how we can work on this so now I am on my cloud run home page so these are the three services we deployed as a container in our last video so this was the web application we deployed let me just have the quick review so here we deployed this web application as a service and you can access the service on the endpoint so this is our simple Python web application we deployed on a cloud run as a service now we have already three service running and now we'll deploy a job here instead of service so we have two options service and job so in jobs currently we do not have any jobs so let me go to the cloud shell where we have python script okay and first i will show you how this python script works and what it does so i have one folder daily report job okay and here I have a main.py which is my python file which extract the data and load json file to the storage bucket so this is kind of the dummy code I have created so it actually does not track the data somewhere from external so it will just create the data and just upload file to the storage bucket for just for demo I created this python script so first let me go to a storage bucket and create one bucket for this demo so I'll go to a cloud storage and create one bucket key. So I'm in a cloud storage. So let me close this here, not required. Let me go to the bucket. Okay, and I'll just create one bucket. Why oh, I'm not able to close this? Okay, I think it's hung. Let me pull it down and I will just create the bucket bkt cloud run job demo hope it is unique else it will throw an error so i'll just copy the name bkt cloud run demo so i'll use this name in my script okay so i copied the name and now i'll just show you a main.py and i will replace the variable bucket variable so here is my bucket name so I'll just replace the bucket name okay let me save it and let me first show you how this python script works so I'll simply execute the python script locally okay. 
so it is fetching the sales data generating report saving report to GCS and now it is showing a report saved to GCS and this is the JSON file now let's go and refresh the storage bucket currently nothing is here so let me refresh we should see one file now okay so one file is here and let's see what we have in this file so this file is having kind of a JSON data so this is our simple job we have to automate using the cloud run and we'll use a cloud run job functionality not a service so let me delete this file now because I just wanted to show you how this script will work okay so let me delete this file now bucket is empty so we do not have anything in this bucket okay so now we'll go to artifact registry again because we should have artifact registry to push our image because we'll building it from the scratch I will show you how to build a container image how to push it to artifact registry and then how to deploy in cloud run as a job so let me show you so currently we are having cloud run app repository which we already created for our previous demo so we'll use the same artifact repository here and here we have a couple of docker images we pushed in last video okay so this is a container image we pushed in last video so let me go back now to my code and let me show you a docker file as well so docker file is again the usual it is just having some dependencies so it is having python 3.9 slim it is just creating the app directory and copying my file and in dependency it is having just the google cloud storage libraries and executing the python main.py so this is my simple docker file now i'll build my docker image so to build a docker image i'll just do docker build hyphen t and the image format should be based on my artifact registry name so i'll just copy it so it should be location project and repository name so this is my location okay then project then the positive name and then I'll have so I'll just give a job or report job okay and I'll just give the tag as a v01 and location to build image my source code in latest directory in current directory I'll just put a dot so this is building a container image for me and this image will be available locally first so it downloading the cloud storage dependencies okay. and our image is available now let me just see the image docker images and we have this report job image available just we pushed 18 seconds ago okay now let me push this image to the artifact registry so i simply remove this build hyphen t and replace with push so it will push remote it will push uh, container image to the artifact registry okay so image is pushed let's verify so currently here is only one container image let's refresh and we should see two images okay so this is a report job image we are having now we have the image we'll go to deploy to the cloud run I'll just scroll it down and I'll go to jobs we have to option as I said service we, which we already deployed three application here and then we have job so I'll go to deploy container and I'll go on the job so in the job now I'll simply select my container image so which we already have in our artifact registry which is a report job I'll go to cloud run app repository and I'll go to report job I'll select the available version and service report job number of one and I'll simply create my job so this is a very simple just we have we should have the working code okay now you, you don't see anything here because if you go back you don't see anything no execution no status nothing if I go inside I have to manually execute this that's why we have a scheduling option but we can execute manually as and when required now if I execute manually it will again extract the data 
create the file and upload that file to the storage bucket now you can see we do not have any file available now now I'll just execute job in the verify log okay so you can see currently in history one execution started so we'll just check here how much time it will take and we should see the file here okay so let's keep refreshing and yeah we can see file is available now it means our job completed fine successfully let's check the status here let's refresh and you can see it's successfully completed and now if I go back it will show last status execution is succeeded last executed time it will show the latest last execution time so this is how we can create a job on the Google Cloud Run now as I said I can do it without manually building the containers as well okay so first we do that we'll just deploy the job directly from the source code so we'll not manually build image we'll not manually push the image instead we'll just use our source code so this is main.py docker file we'll use and we'll directly deploy the job so at the back end it will create repository if not available it will build the image it will push image and then it will deploy the cloud run okay so in our previous demo it already created this repository which is a cloud run source deploy so this time it should use the same when it is automatically deploying and building the image so how we can do that so just let me clear this now now I will not manually build and deploy the container image instead I'll use command in my application or source code directory or you can use from any directory you have to just give the path of your source code and I will just give gcloud run jobs deploy okay and let's see if it will ask for additional parameter definitely it is asking for the source code so my source code in uh, latest uh, current directory okay it will ask for the job name okay so job name I'll just give a report job auto build because it is automatically now it will ask for the location so I want in US central one which is you can see a number 32 here so I'll just give the number 32 okay now it is building and creating the job it is uploading the sources and building the container image and once it is built it will just deploy as a new job so let's go back here and see currently we have one job it should create a new job soon okay so just refresh within few seconds currently it is building the container once it is done we should see a new job in progress so this container file will be available in this repository which is created by cloud run so here it will push now you can see python app auto build and now report job auto build container is just now pushed here so it is now creating the job so if we refresh yeah you can see the new job created a report a job auto build now if I open and execute it will again work the same way where we did manual deployment using building and pushing image so it will work the same way okay. so I'll just go back and the new file should be again created here so it will take few seconds and you can see the new file is created okay and it will again have the data so we can see the data in this file as well now we deployed both the way we deployed using manual creation of docker image building and pushing docker image to artifact registry and with the auto process as well using the gcloud command now I want to schedule this job how we can schedule so we schedule this job we have to use a scheduler okay so we can use that so go to trigger option here okay and add scheduler trigger so here you have to enable cloud scheduler API because it is not used in my project as of now so you will just enable API 
if you already using the cloud scheduler so it will not ask you to enable it is just a one-time activity in the project okay there is some error so let me just close and again go to add scheduler trigger so now it should work okay so this is my scheduler frequency so for this demo just to see in this video I'll just keep the every minute job execution so it will execute for every one minute so I'll use this cron expression so we have to give the cron expression here so it will execute every minute now time I can give the UTC no issues you can give other time zones as well these are available here I'll go with the UTC continue so the default engine service account I'll be using because it is having editor permissions if you are having the custom service account it should have the required permission to invoke the target just like cloud function invoker or cloud run invoker so you can find a required role in the documentation okay now I simply create and it will create trigger for me now once it is created and here you should see the execution every one minute now and you will also see a multiple files in our bucket so let's wait for four to five minutes and I'll show how these jobs are executing every one minute let's go to history and you can see it completed one execution let's wait for one more minute now it again started new execution so first is 111 again the next 112 and every one minute it is executing and you would see the more files in the storage bucket okay so every one minute now it will upload a new file now again at 113 start new execution and completed so you will see a more files again in the bucket so hope you understood now how the scheduling is working now so with the cloud scheduler we can schedule our cloud run jobs and here you can see the latest execution and within your job you can see the history and for each of the job you can check the log it will show how it detects the data and file name which it uploaded to the storage bucket so generating sales reports, saving report to GCS all these logs which we mentioned in the code it will show here so it will keep running for every one minute until and unless we delete the trigger so here we have trigger so what I will do I will just delete the trigger now and do the cleanup else it will keep executing for one minute we just delete the trigger and now it should stop running after every one minute so deleting trigger just save my cost here because I wanted to just show you demo how we can schedule a cloud run job so we'll create more videos on different different functionalities and use cases on cloud run job so for this video we just wanted to create our first job and schedule a job using the cloud scheduler so you can try it in your environment and if you just stuck somewhere just let me know in comment section I'll just try to help you out so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in our next